Hi, this is How CloudFormation Works Introduction Tutorial Part 3, Updating a Stack. In this video, I'm going to, going to continue the introductory series to CloudFormation. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to create a single instance stack. Remember, this was based on Part 1 and Part 2. In Part 1, what we did was we used CloudFormation to launch a, a, a CloudFormation stack with a single instance. In Part 2, we uh, built on top of that, and we uh, added a Route 53 record to, uh, that's associated with that EC2 instance. So in this uh, video, we're going to actually toggle back between the two. All right, so let's go jump right into it. Uh, this video is based on this blog post called A Simple Introduction to AWS CloudFormation Part 3, Updating a Stack. Let's go ahead and grab the command right from it, and let's get going. So that should launch the stack. And to verify that the stack has been launched, we just jump right into the CloudFormation uh, console here and refresh. To get to the CloudFormation console, I'll show you how to get to it. You click on Services and CloudFormation. OK, and uh, you can see it's Create in Progress. When you highlight that line item, it's very useful to hit this Events tab here, because then you can see what's happening. So right now, the stack is kind of launching. While that stack is launching, we're going to do a color diff of the code so we can uh, see the difference. So uh, color diff templates, single instance YML, templates, instance, and Route 53 record YML. So the only difference between these two cloud for CloudFormation stacks is uh, this DNS record that was added and parameters required in order to add that DNS record resource. OK, so let's go back and check on the stack and see uh, if it has been created yet. So it has been created right there. Uh, that's good. So what we want to do now uh, is toggle back and forth between the, the one with the record set and the one with the Route 53 record set and the one without it. So let's click on Resources first. And you can see the two existing resources is an EC2 instance and instance security group. That's the only thing that exists. Let's go ahead and grab this command now and update the stack. There, now it's running and the stack's updating. And the source code for all of this is available on GitHub at Tungru slash CloudFormation examples. All right, so let's go back to the CloudFormation uh, console and refresh. And you see that update is in progress. And you can see that the DNS record, it's being created right now as we speak. You can see it on, under Resources tab. And you can also see it in the Events tab right here. It says Create in Progress. Um, it'd be also useful to go to the Route 53 console and see, uh, confirm. So let's go open that in a new tab and take a look. Host it Zones. And right there, it's already been uh, added, actually. So you can see this uh, test domain example.local has been added. So there you go. So that's how you update the stack to add a Route 53 record. It has not com completely finished yet. So CloudFormation is still thinking. Uh, and then I'm going to actually start preparing the command to run to toggle back. We'll toggle back right now, or at least prepare. I'm just going to wait a little bit and refresh this. Once this is kind of done, there we go. Update complete. Let's see how long it actually took. So it started at 702 and it ended at 815. So it was only a, uh, about a minute. All right, so we're going to update now. We're going to toggle back to the CloudFormation stack without the uh, Route 53 record. So let's refresh. It's updating again. And this should say, uh, let's update this. It says create. It doesn't say uh, deleting there, but it does say in the events here that uh, it's in progress. The record set is being deleted. OK, so let's wait a little bit. And that should delete this record set soon. Delete in progress. So while that's deleting, let's review what we've done. OK, so we created a single instance stack. We diff the source code. So you saw the difference between the two CloudFormation templates. We update the stack to add a Route 53 record. And then we toggle back to remove the Route 53 record, which we're still waiting for. Let's go check on that one more time. Delete in progress. CloudFormation is thinking. And there we go. I think I started this at 8.15. And it's going to take a little time here to delete. And we should be good. Update complete. There we go. So let's click on resources, it's gone. And let's also verify in the Route 53 console. Refresh, gone. All right, so that's how you use the update stack command. It's a very useful command. 
Uh, there, this uh, video is part of a blog series. There's four of them, uh, and here are the links to all the blog posts. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you found it helpful. If you found this uh, video helpful, please be sure to like it to encourage more content like this. Uh, if you have any questions or have any video suggestions, feel free to comment below. And if you have any DevOps needs or help, you need some help, check out Bolt Ops and subscribe to watch more video content like this. Later, guys.